Now you're looking at an x-ray of the patient standing in a neutral posture. You'll notice that her head is way forward of her shoulders here if you follow the cursor. The normal curve line out here is way out front of the curve itself. She, she has no curve. In fact, it's reversed. The, the line back here is our posterior cranial line and the vertical axis goes straight up and then the, the marking tool on this digital unit has a translational distance of 24.74 millimeters. Now, if you don't have a digital machine, you just have to draw that manually and then measure the distance uh, from the vertical line from the point of the spinous process of C7 to the mid, about mid cranial area and then go straight back to the furthest most point that you can identify on the posterior cranial region. Now, this shows the patient that they do in fact have forward head posture. That forward head posture is causing several consequences, uh, i.e. the reversal of the neck curve. And then when we put the collar on her on the, on the film to the right, the, the forward head posture correction collar not only increases the, uh, reverse, moves the head rearward over the shoulders, we now have a measurement of 66.72 versus the 24.74 without the collar. And notice the lordosis line, the cervical lordosis is dramatically better than it was initially. Now we take these two x-rays uh, right after each other so that the patient can see what the correction potential can be to get the curve back online uh, over a six to eight week period. The patient would be instructed to use the collar every day for 20 minutes and at the end of the six week period we would take a scalp film of the lateral cervical to see how much of that cervical curve and how much of the forward head posture has permanently changed to their benefit.